What's the best accounting software for software companies? When making your decision, do you opt for the benefits of the cloud or do you select the software with the best features specific to software companies? Our guest is Philip Massey, CPA, and he says that you can have both. Welcome, Philip. Uh, it's glad to be here, Don. Thank you very much for having me. Our pleasure. So let's get started. When it comes to software companies, uh, many are looking to attract venture capitalists or equity investors, and possibly they're looking to go public at some point in the future. Conventional wisdom says that they need to be off QuickBooks and on a next level accounting system. Philip, why is that? Well, Don, conventional wisdom is correct. Um, they do need to be off of the QuickBooks system or making their way off of the QuickBooks system at the time in which they approach uh, investors uh, for the company. One of the main reasons for that is uh, from a reporting standpoint. Uh, QuickBooks just simply does not give organizations the ability to report in the manner that most equity investors will require as well as the larger companies as they grow will need to report. Uh, things such as profit by division, profit by product line, profit by uh, locations, things such as that uh, as a company may expand are going to become more and more critical and crucial for the growth and success of the company. Um, Equity investors really will focus on that. They'll need those reports. They'll need to know how you've been managing the business. They'll need to know what parts of the business are profitable, what parts might not be profitable uh, within the organization. So reporting <clears throat> is a definite key uh, for one reason they want to move off QuickBooks. The other is, quite simply, for all the accountants that may be listening to this, is GAAP. Um, you know, when you talk about <clears throat> accounting software solutions, QuickBooks is what's considered to be a single entry system. It's not a double entry system with debits and credits. It is a single entry system. So you don't have the necessarily uh, necessary flexibility, security, and the capabilities within the QuickBooks system to do many of the more complex transactions that you might need to do as a uh, larger organizations and secure those transactions so that they cannot be edited once they're entered into the system. So having that fully GAAP compliant, double entry, CPA approved, accounting approved software system is critical when uh, going into those uh, type investors. And then lastly, one of the big things, <clears throat> big reasons that you want to get off QuickBooks is because often as companies grow with QuickBooks, they tend to start processing things in Excel. And, you know, I've, I've spoken to many companies over my career that have been using QuickBooks with multiple companies and they may have an add-in or they may have something else that works, but typically what they do is to report consolidated financials, they will export the information out to Excel and they will clean that up and put it together. Software companies in particular will often do uh, subscription-based billing in Excel. They'll do revenue recognition calculations in Excel. And every time you go to Excel, you leave open the possibility for uh, human interaction and human mistakes with it. Uh, transposing numbers, things such as that, can come into play when you're exporting or working in Excel, and you just want to move away from that. Nobody's going to invest, you know, $10 million, $20 million, $30 million into your company if you're keeping track of your subscription billing in Excel because QuickBooks won't do it. So, you know, those are those are three reasons. There's a lot more out there, uh, Dawn, but those are kind of three of the bigger ones that come to mind. Now, you have a particular solution that you believe is the best fit for software companies. What is the solution and why? Well, we do have a uh, particular solution. That solution is called Intact, I-N-T-A-C-C-T. -C -C -T. And Intact is a fantastic fit for software companies because it 
has the processes and and functions built into it that those companies need. Now it's also a cloud-based solution, so that makes the implementation uh, go much quicker. Um, it makes the delivery of the software much easier, and it makes the upkeep of the software almost maintenance-free. So those are nice points, but when you really drill down into it and look, Intact has things built into it like revenue recognition, uh, even to the extent of VSOE, vendor-specific objective evidence. That's in there. Um, it has subscription-based billing. Uh, it has uh, recurring revenue. It has capabilities for, quote, the cash. The reporting in Intact is phenomenal. Dawn. It really uh, far surpasses uh, other products that are on the market at its particular level. It's got some very powerful dashboard capabilities built into it so that you can quickly get information. And then last but not least, Dawn, it is the preferred provider of the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the AICPA. So that in itself says uh, a ton, but when you put all that together, it's a, Intact is an amazing solution for software companies. Now, you mentioned some specific functionality, and I know that revenue recognition is a big concern in software companies, accounting departments. What makes in, Intact a, a strong solution for revenue recognition? Well, the revenue recognition uh, for Intact is built into the system. So it's not a, a third-party product. It's not an, uh, an add-on module that has to be integrated in like you might see in some other mid-market packages. It's really built into the application. So you create your schedules. You can assign those schedules to the transactions. And then as you post those transactions, it's going to create the necessary revenue entries for you automatically. And it's got all of the per period, uh, per day, uh, all the different revenue recognition types that you would want to have um, in a system. And it does uh, take into account VSOE, uh, the vendor-specific objective evidence. If you're a software company and you are selling your software and selling services for the implementation, then you need to be looking at VSOE. Uh, you will most likely be required if you are uh, a growing organization, and especially if you're going into venture capital area, you will most likely be required to comply with VSOE standards. Um, and, and that can be really a nightmare if you don't have a automated solution to help take care of that. We're talking multiple spreadsheets uh, to work with to, to calculate the VSOE piece. So if you have that, it's kind of a no-brainer. You need to get a software solution like Intact that has it built in and gives you that capability really to set up your schedules, enter in your transactions, attach the appropriate schedules to the transactions, and really let the system do the rest. There's built-in reporting to show you uh, upcoming revenue recognition uh, that's going to be posted. Uh, your revenue recognition schedules uh, can be printed out. It really, it, it really, really simplifies the uh, the process of managing revenue recognition for a software company, whether they deal with BSOE or not. Uh, having the functionality built in, the schedules built in, all of those things just makes it a much simpler process. And then you know, that allows you to really focus on uh, the, the, the analysis aspect of revenue recognition as opposed to the day-to-day -day process of entering journal entries for revenue recognition. Fantastic. What about so many companies now are cloud-based, and that means that they have to uh, do subscription billing and take a look at recurring revenue. How does Intact handle that? Intact does, in fact, handle that, Don, uh, for the subscription billing and the and the recurring revenue, and it ties back into your revenue recognition modules um, as well. So, 
if you're a software company and you're cloud or you've got some type of subscription based model, then you need something where you can enter in this transaction and you could say, I'm going to bill this company $500 a month and I want invoices automatically generated on the first day of the month, the 10th day of the month, whatever day of the month they need to go out. And you want those invoices generated. You want them sent out to the customers. You want the ability to have nice looking invoices that go out to them. And, you know, a lot of companies will say, let's just get those invoices out the door. But oftentimes a well presented invoice will uh, will be just that little extra uh, that helps your company uh, look more professional and ultimately succeed. But <clears throat> Intact does have capability in it to create recurring invoices for your subscription billing and you can set it on monthly, quarterly, uh, different aspects, you know, different uh, time ranges for when you're going to be sending those out. And you've got the capability to, to lay it out and even go in, as I said, and attach the revenue recognition schedules to it as well. So that if you're billing a month in advance, then the revenue recognition schedule can kick in and recognize the revenue at the appropriate time. So having, again, all this stuff built into the system rather than being a third party really lets Intact uh, interact much better for software companies than most of the other products that are on the market uh, today, if not all the other uh, products that are on the market today. Um, but subscription billing in particular is, is definitely well handled within the Intact application. Very good. I was hoping that you could explain something to me. Uh, a phrase that I'm hearing a lot when it comes to software companies is quote to cash. And first, if you could explain what that is, and secondly, why that has become such a crucial aspect of profitably managing a software company. And then Beyond that, what can Intact do to assist with that view of the business? Okay. Well, uh, I can throw another phrase at you, Dom. The, the reason that quote the cash is important is because of the other phrase that you hear a lot is cash is king. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what your, your sales are. Uh, it doesn't truthfully matter what your uh, billings are. Uh, it really matters how much of that you're collecting. So the quote to cash process takes into account, I'm sending out quotes all day long. I've got people knocking down my door wanting quotes on my software solution that I've developed, this new app for the iPhones. I've got people just, just sending me requests all day long. I'm sending quotes out, quote, quote, quote. Okay. But how much of that, how many of those quotes are going to turn to cash? So how many of those are we going to take the quote, we're going to turn them into an order, we're going to fill that order, we're going to invoice that order, and we're then going to collect the cash for that. So it doesn't just stop at the quote. It doesn't just stop at the invoice. It doesn't stop until you get the cash. Because, again, cash is king. Uh, sending out quotes sending out invoices, creating orders, none of that really truly propels your business unless you get the cash. So quote the cash really takes into concept or, or, or shows a concept or displays a concept where you're going from a quote to an order to an invoice to receiving the cash for that invoice, taken through that entire sales life cycle. And Intact can contribute to that because, uh, first and foremost, Intact has a very robust API. And the reason that's important for quote to cash is with integrations. Now, you could do your quotes, <clears throat> you can do the orders, you can do the invoices inside of Intact and have it all right there. You can issue the invoices, they'll go to the customer's account, you can use the collections module if need be, or you can simply just receive the cash, hopefully, when they pay on time. But if we go beyond that, a lot of companies these days don't just want to do the quotes. They want to do the leads. They want to do the prospects. They want to, to manage the opportunities. And you've got salespeople in the organization that are looking at 
uh, prospects, to turn into leads, to turn into opportunities, to turn into quotes. So if we go back a little bit in this whole quote the cash process, that's when this robust API that Intact has is really going to come into play. Now, there is a built-in integration between Salesforce.com, which is the number one CRM package in the world, and Intact. And in fact, Intact was the first company to have a certified integration to Salesforce.com. But there is a built-in integration, and there are also other integration type components where we can take Salesforce.com, we can take Dynamic CRM, you could take Sugar CRM, you could take whatever CRM package you use. And you could integrate that into the Intact application. So your your salesperson buys a list of leads, prospects, goes through those prospects, turns through those, creates a certain number of leads. Those leads turn into a certain number of opportunities. Those opportunities need quotes. Some of those quotes will get accepted. They'll turn to orders. The software company is going to fulfill those orders. They'll turn into invoices. Those invoices are going to be sent out by the accounting department. The AR clerk in the accounting department is going to receive the cash to pay those invoices. And you've got one total view of that quote to cash process that really lets you follow, manage, and monitor that entire process, even in cases where you may be using Salesforce.com, Dynamic CRM, or something of the like and integrating that data into the intact application to finish the process. So it's, it, it really it helps you manage that entire sales life cycle, not just to get those orders and invoices out there, but ultimately to get the cash because that's what really drives your business. Great. 